I remember when I was a small child. One night I turned on the TV and was entertained by one of the most spectacular movies up until then that I had ever saw. It was about a plant monster attempting to save a beautiful, voluptuous woman, I might add, from an evil millionaire aristocrat. I was fascinated by it. I wasn't sure at the time if it was a horror movie though, because I just wasn't scared. In fact, I rooted for what I thought at the time to be the monster of the movie. I thought it was well done and not hokey like other movies at the time. And at the end, I was sad for the monster. After saving the girl, it went back into the swamp to live a life of self-imposed solitude. That movie, as you may have guessed, was Swamp Thing. And it wasn't until years later that I found out that this monster was based off of a comic book character. Having liked Wes Craven's movie so much, I decided to give this first series a try, which leads me to the topic of this video. Today I will be going over the first solo issue of Swamp Thing. I say first solo issue because if you want to read this character's very first appearance, you will have to get yourself a copy of DC's House of Secrets, issue number 92, which was an anthology series that focused on the weirdness angle of sci-fi and fantasy. When Swamp Thing appeared in this issue, he was so popular that the powers that be decided to give him his own series, leading me to this video of Swamp Thing issue 1, released in November 1972, entitled Dark Genesis. The comic begins in mid-story where you see Dr. Alec Holland, aka Swamp Thing, brooding from the shadows, overlooking an isolated barn located deep in the bayou. With the internal monologue he mentions his intentions of revenge when suddenly his thoughts drift back into earlier times, a time before this anthropomorphic vegetative being, when once he had a love and a purpose to his life. It seems that Dr. Holland and his wife Linda Holland were working in the barn under government protection. The two were bio-restorative research scientists on the edge of a great discovery, one where vegetative life could thrive anywhere on the planet, no matter what the hostile condition. At the moment of their breakthrough of their formula, a secret organization known only as the Conclave offered Dr. Holland immeasurable wealth. If he would just hand over the serum and his formula. Not willing to do so, the men knock him unconscious and set the lab to explode. Upon regaining consciousness, Alec attempts to deactivate the detonator, but it's too late. He is engulfed in flames that is fueled by his own formula. Quickly, he runs out into the night and submerges himself in the nearby bayou, only to reemerge as something different. No longer fully human, but no longer completely man as well. The writing in this issue is reminiscent of Robert E. Howard's works, loquacious and descriptive. But that is what I like. The art is dark and expressive. I felt it was perfect for the character. For just like the movie I mentioned earlier, Swamp Thing, he is a hero, but a hero set in a horror background, making him quite different than previous characters I have read in my life. I give this single issue a 3.5 out of 5, a very good read. Please comment below your thoughts on the story if you've read it. Tap that bell icon before you go and visit my YouTube channels for other videos like it. And oh yes, until next time, keep reading my friends.